Hey everyone, Gina here, back with another process video for you guys. Um, this one's a fun one because we're doing a little sneak peek of our sisterhood set that is releasing in the shop on Monday. Um, so here I am just kind of laying my stuff out. I cut out a bunch of stuff that I thought I might want to use ahead of time and now I'm just um, kind of figuring out where I want it on the page. Um, I was about to tape it all on and then I remembered that I <laughs> wanted to put some uh, paint on the back so I take it all off again. Um, I'm using the card swipe technique here with a couple paints from Studio Calico which I will link in the description. Um, and I realized I didn't have my little cardboard back there to block it. There were some um, stickers and things on the page behind it that kind of made it a little hard to swipe a clean line. Um, so there I added um, a corally orangey color and a pink color onto the back um, with my card. And now that I've got the paint on there, I can go ahead and actually put those um, die cuts and stuff on there. Um, the words um, and courage and sisters in Christ, I printed out on some um, clear sticker paper. Also those hearts on the side, kind of like a little washy uh, type thing. So now I'm just going to tape all of my little pieces down onto the paper them situated that little green heart and the green scallop on the side and then those little cutout alphas that I'm taping down right now are from two different sets that we're also releasing in the shop on Monday and they coordinate perfectly color wise with um, all the sets that we are releasing in the month of July so Make sure you grab those from the shop too because they're the perfect little additions to um, add to the other little cutouts on the page. So right about here I realized that um, the little green scallop I had cut out with a little bit of a white border on it and I didn't like how the border sat over that little heart washy piece so I just went ahead and um, cut that white part off before I uh, use my tape roller to tape it down. Um, then I realized I wanted to add a little bit something more down there in the corner so I grabbed some of these little um, grid squares that are in our freebies library and I'll link that down below so you can grab those. So I just cut out a coordinating color of the little grid and um, thought maybe I wanted it behind the little scallop piece so I tried putting it there but then it didn't stick out enough so I um, pulled it back up and tried it a different way and still just wanted to add a little something extra uh, down there in the corner so I went ahead and grabbed my little um, dish full of fabric scraps um, that I have and kind of looked through there to see if there's anything that I thought would match um, and then I ended up pulling out this little piece that had um, it was just white with some black triangles on it um, so I kind of tested out if I liked it back there I had already um, had it clipped in a little uh, folded pattern so I just cut off um, the little end piece and um, when I don't want to get my sewing machine out because uh, it kind of takes a long time I just uh, use a stapler to uh, fix the fabric so that it stays together in that little fold um, so then I just cut a little bit of the extra piece off there and um, tried to decide how I wanted it with the other little pieces there uh, and then I went to um, use my tape roller which usually works just fine 
um, with the fabric, but it didn't want to work on this piece, so I went and um, had to search through my stash to find some different glue to hook it on there. So I went ahead and did that, and then placed the girl, um, the girls on there. And then now I'm just going to highlight my verse that I'm focusing on, which is from Hebrews chapter 10, verses. Uh, 24 and 25 which says and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near and I just really loved um, that part about encouraging one another I think sometimes um, you know we're friends with people and we do life together and uh, we just forget to encourage each other um, in faith. So now I'm just writing my little prayer there in the empty spot. Um, and I just wrote that um, I would be reminded to be an encouragement uh, to my sisters and friends in Christ. Um, and that also I would be an example of um, that hope without wavering um, that, that it talked about in that verse. Um, so I'm just going to finish writing that up and then I am going to grab uh, my date stamp and uh, put the date there at uh, the bottom of the page. So I uh, stamp it over there on the side first to get a little bit of the ink off so that it's not so um, dark. And then I am going to add a coordinating page clip at the top there and anchor it down with some of that uh, grid washi that I used at the bottom of the page. Then I remembered that little heart sticker that I had cut out earlier there on the side and decided to put it right next to my little prayer. And that is going to do it. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything.